Now, and, f- and for the record, um, I was talking about the time he uh, unrolled the Nazi flag on USA uh, Championship Wrestling in the late 80s and 88. You said you, said you, you weren't sure and you, you didn't quite remember that. But so to your knowledge, you didn't get any blowback from any sponsors or anything at that time. Uh, is, would that be safe to say that you can recall at this time? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. No, I don't remember. I don't remember ever getting a complaint the entire time I ran the operation there. And, you know, and when I think about it, it's probably because no telling what Ron Wright had done on there years before I got there. <laughs> you know, he probably That's done true. some horrible things on there, you know, and so they were used to seeing something crazy on there. So, you know, the Nazi flag being unfurled and laid across the front of the desk was no big deal to him. Uh, and Ron was so good at interviews that I would turn him loose. I would just say, you know, he'd say, what do you want me to say, Ron? I'd say, well, just say what you usually say, man. Go out there and do your thing. Well, who's wrestling who? I'd give him the who's wrestling. So-and-so is wrestling this guy, and this guy's wrestling this one, and this guy of yours is wrestling so-and-so. And And I, he would go out there, and he would just tear the house down. I mean, he always did a fabulous interview. So, you know, and... And I think he came up with the concept of having the Nazi guy and, and the Nazi flag. I believe that was all his idea. And <laughs> and I probably, back in the day, I don't really remember, but back in the day, I probably said, well, hell, Ron, if you think you need a, Na- a German Nazi, you know, if, if Stomper ain't enough and if, uh, if, uh, if all your other guys that you've got out here aren't enough, and you think you need a Nazi? Go ahead and do it, man. So I turn him loose. 